Hello, good morning. Uh, so welcome to our second day of our lesson in operating CAD software and computer hardware. So last may I have given you my last uh, synchronous video about our topic in different kind of uh, uh, 3D models. No? And a uh, 2D and 3D model. So let's have a review. Okay. I have here pictures of uh, different uh, uh, CAD models. So let's start with number one. What kind of CAD model is shown in the picture? Okay. If your guess is orthographic projection, that is right. This is an orthographic projection or a presentation of drawing showing uh, the different sides of the isometric uh, isometric drawing. So here it is represented uh, two dimensions: the top and the length, or the, uh, the height or the width, is re represented in this uh, CAD model. Well, in number two. What kind of uh, CAD model is this? What type of CAD model? Okay, if your guess is 2D drawing, you are correct. 2D drawing, why this, uh, why this called 2D drawing? When you say 2D drawing, it is a kind of a, a model that uh, show only two dimensions. Is either height or length, height or width or length. Uh, okay, height and width or height or length. No, that is 2D drawing. Okay, so here in this website, so what type of uh, CAD model is this? Okay, if your guess is 3D software model, you are correct. So what we show here in this model? We show here in this model is the physical surface of a model. As you can see, uh, when you are in, in your class in Mambatas, no, we shaded our... Uh, Isometric drawing showing that the object is a solid form. So in this uh, presentation and this card model, we it is showing that the model is in a solid form uh, because and because it shows a surface from top to side to left to rear and from different uh, sides of the object. No? It showing a uh, surface showing a flat surface well in this in the right side this uh, drawing in here in the right side what uh, 2d model oh sorry what kind of CAD model is shown in this picture okay if your guess is if your answer is 3d wireframe you are correct this is called a 3D wireframe because it's only showing the edge of the drawing. It's a representation of a drawing showing only the edges of it. As you can see, no, see through no? You can see at the, uh, all through at the image, no? all throughout the image. Okay. Now. Here our lesson for this day. Our lesson will be focusing only on the software and the hardware. So the big question is, what is a hardware? Okay. Hardware is the physical body of a of the computer. So what is the physical body of the computer? Uh, parang geto lang yung mga bata, no? Um, hardware, ito yung mga bagay na pwede nating mahawakan or yung mga bagay na nakikita natin on the computer. 
like yung physical body no parang katawan natin ito yung physical body natin the arms the the head the body the leg so in the computer we have in the physical body like uh the monitor the keyboard the the mouse so uh, the cpu the, the, that is the uh hardware of the computer well the software is the uh it's not the physical part of that computer kung saan ito naman yung nilalaman ng computer what does it mean nilalaman that we can see inside the computer that run that helps to run the computer okay or also the memory of the computer is also known as the software of the computer so everything that runs in the computer application software os we call them softwares so this will be our topic for today so what is the focus of our lesson for today the hardware is all the physical equipment that makes up the computer system the software is the set of program that's related to application associated with computer system uh, we'll be also talking about the cpu or the central processing unit it is the brain of the computer where the most of the computing take place CAD surface and the hardware computer system can be broken down into basic elements like hardware and software. So this will be our topic for today. Hardware. Hardware is a physical equipment that makes up the computer system. It is divided uh, into a system hardware and peripherals. So the system hardware includes the central processing unit we also known as uh, the CPU. They called the, the keyboard, the monitor, and the primary storage memory, also known as RAM, and the secondary storage memory. Peripera peripherals includes disk drives, mouse, digita digitizers, printers, platters, etc. Et System unit. Okay, uh, pag tayo, no, laging natatanong no, ng teacher, anong tawag dito? We, uh, we immediately answer CPU. Okay, because we uh, lumaki tayo na ang kala natin ay tawag talaga dito is CPU. No? Pero tama rin naman in, which in the point. No? Pero... Uh, in terminal basis, we call in technical basis. Sorry, not terminal. In technical basis, we call this a system unit. The main part of a my computer is sometimes called chassis. Yeah, it is chassis. It includes all the following parts: the motherboard, which is found here, and ito yung nandito. Motherboard, the microprocessor me uh, memory, which is under here with uh kung saan na makikita yung ano CD drive uh chip bushes ports expan expansion slot and card so everything here like here yung CD yung CD port niya no CD drive niya nasa likod ng computer naman yung mga ports mga bushes niya and the card also is uh added if uh, if you need to another features of your ano another upgrade of your computer okay it's found inside of this system unit so ano yung cpu kung hindi yun yung cpu ano yung cpu so the central processing unit ayan siya po makikita nyo po siya into the heart of the uh, <coughs> system unit no? and kasama nyo ito yung atom so in the brain of the computer where the most computing takes place so this is the brain of the computer it's also known as the processor it performs as all the instruction and calculation that are needed to manage the flow of information um ito siya po yung si brain um tayo uh, uh, ginawa natin si computer para uh, bigyan siya ng mga command na i-compute niya. 
uh, naalala ko tuloy, no? Bakit ba tinatawag nating computer, ang isang computer? That's the question, no? Uh, kasi, yung un- unang maimbento ang computer, ang purpose niya is for computation. Uh, actually, ang unang, maka- ang unang gumamit nga ng tinatawag na supercomputer ay yung mga bangko. Kasi, uh, nung panahon, syempre, mahi- uh, mahirap magbilang ng manual, lalo na kung tungkol sa malalaking pera na or malak- ano, matataas na amount na pera na ipinag-uusapan. Uh, so, ang naging purpose ng unang computer is to compute. Yun yung pinakaunang purpose niya. Uh, secondly, uh, dati nung uh, naisipan ng tao na magpadala ng camera sa outer space para picturean ang itsura ng buwan, uh, pinadala nila yung isang uh, camera sa isang satellite. Ngayon, paano ito pinadadala ng computer ang image pabalik sa Earth? Pinadadala ng ka- ng uh, ng satellite, yung image, by means of binary codes. Yung binary codes, it means every pixel ng bawat image ay pinadadala niya by true binary. So, the computer will compute all the binary codes and uh, uh, compute them and uh, it turns out a uh, an image. No? So, nabubuo siya into an image. So, so that's how the computer is used. That's why uh, you will see in the meaning, it is a computing device. That's why it's called computer. Okay. Keyboard. Uh, I know everyone has already have known what is a keyboard is. No? Kasi, uh, basic part po siya ng computer, no? ay siyang kasama. Uh, it is the principal device of the computing, uh, communicating with your computer. Why communicating? Kasi lahat ng command, uh, lahat ng inputs na gusto niyo sa, compu- sa computer is we do it in through the keyboard. All keyboards have letter keys, punctuation keys, and spacebar, which is similar to the keys on the typewriter. Keyboard also have a function of numeric arrow keys and additional alt control and enter key. Okay. Next is monitors. Monitor have a screen display information. Dito nakit natin nakikita kung ano yung uh, uh, mga information na, kaila- na binubuksan natin or sinersearch natin or pinaplay natin na software. So, such as instructional, you send to your computer and information and result your computer sent back after interpreting your instruction. For example, no, um, a um, MP4, MP4 file, no, you just double click it. It means you, uh, you are commanding the computer to open the file. So the computer will just uh, follow your command and open using the uh, software that is installed in, sir, in your computer. So a color monitor will not display colorless. There is a video card bit inside your computer. Kung wala raw kayong video card sa loob ng inyong computer, it will show uh, just a colorless monitor. Uh, on your screen of your monitor. No? So the video card determines the screen resolution and the number of colors and the monitor can display. Uh, for example, no, uh, I'm using a AutoCAD 2019 uh, edition of, um, uh, of, uh, of AutoCAD. No? So, kinakailangan ko na mas mas mataas na video card para dito sa aking laptop kasi kung wala akong mas mataas na uh, size ng ano video card hindi magpe-play ng maayos or magka-crash lang or maghahang lang lahat ng ginagawa ko sa AutoCAD na 
uh, siguro familiar rin kayo doon sa pag naglalaro kayo no ng mga computer uh, games niyo no uh, nagahang sila pag hindi mataas ang uh, resolution ng video card na nakaseta naka nasa loob ng computer na ginagamit niyo so hindi siya nagiging maganda okay What is a CR, uh, C, CRT? So, balikaw nga pala natin ito. So, here, meron tayong tatlong uh, uh, monitor na nasa iba ba? The first one is the CRT. Ito yung nakikita natin, no, yung unang uh, TV natin, mga unang TV, saka yung mga unang monitor ng computer. I think siguro naman inabot nyo yung box type na Uh, monitor no and then here we have here the LCD and the LED okay we will talk about those difference between them let's start with the CRT TV so the CRT TV guys is a we, what we call the cathode ray tube the cathode ray tube also known as the CRT is a vacuum tube that contains one or more electro guns and uh, post phosphorescent screen. Ito yung itsura niya. As you can see here, para siyang malaking bumbilya, no? At na dito yung tinatawag na electron guns. Yung electron guns, yun yung nagpo-project ng mga micro uh, laser kung saan lumalabas yung mga pixel ng bawat uh, uh, picture na pinaproject niya dito. So, yun ang bumubuo doon sa uh, image, no? And it is used to display image in a modulate, accelerate, and deflect, uh, deflects electron beams into the screen to create images. The big problem of this, uh, uh, this type of uh, monitor, uh, because it uh, projecting uh, electron uh, particle or electron, electron beams, nagkakaroon ito ng malakas na radiation. Uh, because of the, yung iniipo na electricity nito and then it uses to project no, images. So, delikado sa atin. No? Kaya ito, sinasabi ito ng mga uh, computer teacher na huwag mag-stay masyado na matagal sa monitor ng mga ganito klaseng uh, monitor. No? Uh, Kasi mataas ang radiation niya. So, yung radiation, alam natin na masama sa katawan ng tao yun, yung radiation. Kasi, uh, it kills the good cells. And, uh, it entertains the cancer cells, no? So, nagkakaroon ng masamang epekto sa katawan ng tao to. So, pinahihina niya resistensya ng katawan. Yun na. Tapos, in-entertain niya yung cancer. So, siguro naman ayaw niyo ng ganun, no? So, kaya nung mauso ang mga LCD and LED, mabilis na, na, na wala na agad or na-reject na agad ang mga uh, CRT at napalitan na agad ng LCD and LED. Now, the question is, is LCD or BS, uh, sorry, LCD and LED are the same? Are they the same or not? Maybe some of you will answer, Sir, parehas lang naman eh. Actually, parang pangalan lang yung pinalitan, no? O parang gano'n. Pero, uh, actually guys, halos di naman talaga sila nagkaiba, no? Maybe the, the middle letter that <laughs> in between the L and D, no? Uh, but guys, uh, the purpose of, uh, they have two different purpose of uh, function yung LCD sa LED. Okay. So, when we say LCD and LED, technically, they are both uh, uh, liquid crystal display. Para sa lang liquid crystal display. The basic of this technology is the same that the both two layers of uh, polarized glass through which in liquid crystal in both Uh, uh, both black and past light. So, sino yung both black and sino si past light? Okay. Okay. Let's see the 
what the acronym means. LCD stands for liquid crystal display. LED stands for uh, light emitting diodes. Okay. As you can see in the picture, guys, LCD used the fluorescent light. Sabi, sir, yung fluorescent light yan yung ano, bumbilya doon sa bahay yung mahaba. Yes. The, uh, the idea of the fluorescent light and this LCD fluorescent is the same idea. Uh, kaso nga lang, mas mali itong mga tube na ito. Uh, the first invention of this is uh, it is made of glass. No? Pero hindi naging effective kasi madaling masira. And uh, it turns to and change the idea into uh, plastic tubes. No? Maliliit na plastic while the LED uses diodes. Ano yung diodes? Ito yung maliliit na bumbilya. No? Na makikita natin yan sa mga remote control, sa mga laruan natin. No? Um, even in our cell phone, we have LCD. No? Even our all the gadgets that we have that uh, imit uh, image light, no? yung nagpapakita ng liwanag, uh, we call them diodes. So, yung diodes ng, ano, ng LED TV ay napakaliit. Uh, it is very small. Uh, like, a, uh, it represents one pixel of an image. No? So, pag tinitigan nyo yung, ano, yung TV screen nyo, pag nakita nyo na mahahaba siya, pahaba siya. No? Mala, pahaba siya. So, LCD yun. Pag nakita nyo naman na parang tuldok-tuldok siya, no? parang uh, grid ang itsura niya, isya ay LED. Okay. So, alin yung mas maganda doon sa dalawa? No? Yung LCD kasi, uh, pag nasira yan or na-damage yung uh, kanyang function, makikita nyo na may guhit siyang mahaba. Gumuguhit siya ng mahaba or halimbawa, uh, parang uh, laptop no? pag naipit yung laptop magkakaroon siya ng isang guhit doon sa ano naman, sa diodes naman, yung screen na uh, gumagamit ng diodes naman pag na-damage siya, may mga yung side, ano ba, natuunan yung corner ng, ng laptop mo, or nabarug siya, magkakaroon doon na parang uh, may itim na uh, uh, dot, no? Yung dot doon, ibig sabihin doon, tumama yung indentation ng screen. Magiging itim lang siya. So, ang, ang ginamit ng screen na yon is an diodes or also known as the LED. So, yun ang pinagkaiba ng LCD sa LED. So, pag ang cellphone nyo ay nabagsak at nagkaroon ng guhit, L -E -L LCD yon. At pag ang cellphone nyo nagkaroon ng damage at nagkaroon ng itim, no? Or parang uh, basag na salamin or na kulay itim, no? So, LED yan. So, ganun lang i-determine yung dalawa. Hard disk drive. So, ang hard disk drive is also known as the HDD. Yan. Uh, actually, it can be upgraded if you want to. Uh, for example, you have a... Uh, uh, 300 uh, uh, computer memory, you can change it to uh, a higher one by changing it. No? Papalitan lang naman yan. Uh, mas madaling palitan yung mga nasa desktop kaysa doon sa nasa laptop. No? Hard disk drive, it is also known as the hard drive. It's a magnetic storage device that is installed inside the computer. The hard drive is used as the permanent storage of the data. Uh, we call this as the CP, uh, drive C of the computer which is pag nag-download tayo yung kanyang download folder ay nasa drive C okay so pag nag uh, pag inopen natin ang isang software doon siya automatically nagsa-save or doon siya pumupunta or pag mga mga update siya yun and ano doon rin siya napunta sa drive C which is, pag binura natin yung nasa loob ng drive C, maapektuhan yung buong system ng computer mo, yung function ng mga software mo, 
ay madadamay. Kasi nasa tinatawag natin siyang permanent storage data. Okay, another one is the optical drive. The optical drive is also the known as a CD, ano, CD drive or CD reader. Uh, it is a storage device that uses laser to read the data optical media. Ano yung laser? Sinasabi, pag binuksan nyo yan, meron kayong makikita doon na laser lens. Kasi ang ginagawa niya, syempre, niri, binabasa niya yung CD using this uh, laser lens. That's why it's called optical drive. The word is optica. It means emitting light. Okay. So, we have three types of uh, the, uh, CD. That is, the first one is the compact disc. Ito yung kulay silver. Digital versatile disc. Ito yung, uh, like dito yung, uh, yung rainbow. Yung, iba-iba yung, pag tinaman ng ilaw, eh, iba-iba yung kulay. Kasi, ibig sabihin lang nun, mas malaki yung memory niya na pwedeng in-save it. And yung blue, ano, yung Blu-ray disc. Yung Blu-ray disc naman, kulay blue siya. Uh, usually, ito naman ginagamit sa mga high-definition movie. Or pag bumili kayo ng original copy ng isang pinikula, under siya ng Blu-ray disc. Oh, yun. <laughs> okay, naalala ko talaga yung mga nagda-download ng ano, movie sa torrent. No? May, mga, may nakagay kasi doon, Blu-ray disc. Yung sabihin, it's a pirate version of the movie in... Blu-ray. So, ito. This is one example of what we call the Blu-ray disc. Yan. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Next is the mouse. Yan. The mouse is a very common uh, uh, peripheral of the computer. You know? uh, and today, we cannot live uh, or we cannot use the computer without using a mouse, parang nasanay na tayo na it is a part of computer. Pero guys, dati nung uh, uh, when the mouse is not invented, no, talagang kung, ano, keyboard lang po ang ginagamit namin. If, if you want to browse the screen using a arrow, no, uh, you're going to use the arrow key na na doon sa key, ano, keypad ng keyboard. Okay. Anyway, uh, the mouse is, is a small handheld device used to control the cursor and crosshair on the screen. It can be used to select items by pointing to it and clicking button. Okay, this is another version of the mouse. Uh, it is a wireless mouse uh, using uh, either Bluetooth or yung tinatag na infrared. Okay, this is the gamer mouse which is uh, much more higher fun uh, higher defi defined. No? It la uses laser lens to uh, detect movement. Um, uh, syempre, may ano, mas mabilis ang ano niya, accu accuracy niya no? kaysa doon sa normal mouse kasi it used for games. No? Uh, some mouse are, uh, had a additional features like uh, numerical numbers or uh, Ayan, numerical numbers na nasa may left uh, side ng, ng mouse, no? For additional features. Digitalized tablet. Okay, so this is the digital tablet, no? So, uh, a student told me that uh, he, uh, as what he understand about AutoCAD is you can make a drawing of you know using the digitalized tablet or also known as the tablet no? um actually guys the reality you know uh me um using a, a also a digital tablet no? ginagamit ko rin ang digital tablet ko pero hindi ko siya ginagamit for autocad no? maybe ginamit ko siya for autocad for uh for rendering lang no yung pagkukulay or yung finishing part of the draw ng uh, ng aking auto ng aking design no or maybe the visual presentation na pero uh, actually hindi ko siya ginagamit for sa pagbuo ng uh, design ko maybe you will see people uh, or images 
uh, using this tablet while working on an AutoCAD. Maybe on the maybe on maybe they use this for uh, visual purpose lang or para magmukha lang teki yung uh, actor na nasa picture. Pero hindi hindi siya baka kasi ang iniisip nyo uh, pwede nyo ipatong yung roller diyan tapos gamitin siya for tracing. No. That's not the idea of the digital tablet. It is a graphic drawing tablet used for sketching new image of the tracking old ones. Uh, ano ba? Pwede nyo kasing uh, ip, uh, gamitin siya for tracing. No? Itetrace nyo yung uh, uh, drawing nyo into a computer and then you can use it, uh, this digital tablet, to draw in free and uh, freehand drawing. Kasi some of you may be uh, yeah, good in freehand drawing. Uh, this one is a very good alternative. But uh, the, feel, the feeling of uh, using a digital pencil is very different from using a real one. No? Maybe if you buy a... Uh, uh, ah, later, I'll show you the picture. Uh, so, it is called a graphic tablet where the user writes and or draw and surface of the device with a wire or wireless pen or puck. Okay, the, when the uh, mistakenly called a mouse, the puck is a officially a tablet cursor. Yeah, so if you're going to draw uh, and using a digital tablet, no? yeah, and you can use that. This is an Adobe Illustrator, so you can use it to draw. Yeah, a Photoshop na pala to Photoshop. So you can see here. It uses a Huon the uh, uh, Huon 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 uh, tablet. So if you are uh, if you like to draw animation so, or uh, making anime comics, no, uh, the, the digital tablet is the best for you. And also this one is uh, another kind of a tablet, which is the main, yung screen mismo, don't kayo mismo na drawing. You can draw over the screen of this tablet. Okay. Yeah, siguro naman, pamiyar na kayo dito, no? These are the printer, and these are the five different type of printer. A printer is an output device that uses to print information processed by your computer. Printer and platter varies in speed and output capabilities. So, meron tayong pag-usa, meron tayong dalawa dito. Printer saka uh, platter. No? So, later mo na platter. Printer mo na tayo. So, printer, we have here the inkjet which uses the cartridge. Late, a laser printer. Uh, LCD printer. Well, why LCD? Because it has a uh, uh, dito? scan uh, feature. Uh, we have here the line printer. Uh, pag nag, uh, nag ano kayo dito yung tag dito sa mga botohan niya, makakita kayo niya na yan, line printer. Sa, sa NASA and sa weather, ano, meron kayo dito kasi yung Nag, uh, yung pag-detect ng uh, earth, uh, ng movement ng mundo o yung parang earthquake detector nila, gumagamit sila nito. Okay. And the thermal printer. Okay. So this device, we call this platter. Okay. As you can see, no, yung mga poster na tarpaulin, yan. Ang, ang ginagamit doon, hindi yung, hindi printer, no? Ang tawag nila doon is platter. Yan. Okay. So, dati, uh, ang platter machine, ginagamit siya for, ano, no? Yung blueprint printing. Kasi, uh, yung, ano ba, mga design ng mga engineering architect. Tapos, uh, it print out into a, and it's a big size, ano, paper, no? Um, uh, but today, the platter is changed it uses. It uses for commercial purpose na. So, you can use it for uh, like this, no? Doing some tar tarpaulins. Or another one is like this, no? A cutting uh, device. 
uh, to cut uh, this uh, sticker. Ito yung makikita nyo doon sa mga nagne-negosyo ng mga motor yung naglalagay ng sticker. Yeah, platter machine rin yung ginagamit nila. Yeah, so ito nakikita nyo no, yung example. Yeah, so yun, yung swan, no? lumabas na yung swan ba yun? O what kind of bird is that? Okay, so the platter is a output device able to produce better quality drawing as compared to a printer. However, the speed of the platter is generally slower than the printer. Uh, kaya siya mas mabagal sa, sa, oh, sa printer is because of the high quality of colors that can produce, not like the, uh, the printer, no? Uh, hindi siya gan ka ganda yung quality. So, kasi ang purpose naman ng plotter is to uh, have a large image no? And for good presentation. And ang printer naman maliit lang. So, those are our hardwares or peripherals. Now, let's go to our next topic that is the software. The software is the set of programs, procedures, and related documentation associated with computer system. A program is a code set of instruction that interprets the information given to the computer with a keyboard or a mouse and direct to the computer to carry a task. So we use the uh, uh, keyboard mouse to give a command to our computer, to our software. No? Software can be categorized in two main groups. So we have two main groups of software. This is the operating system software and the application software. So this is the operating system. The idea of the operating system, uh, yung pinaka brain ng computer. Kung saan, gamit natin yung mouse natin and yung keyboard, we send our commands through this operating system. For example, you type your name. Your command will go to this operating system, compute your command, and present it an output in your mo in your computer monitor. And also a mouse, as I move my mouse, no, it uh, it signals or give a command that you move the cursor to the left when you move your mouse to the left. You give a information to move your cursor to the right if you move your mouse to the right. So that is the idea. Okay, so if you store, if you command your computer to save a file, the, co the operating system will give the disk drive to save the file. Or you give the disk drive to open a file. So that's why the arrow here is a vice versa. It can be input and to output also. Application, for example, a game, no, yung mga nilalaro nyo dyan. Uh, counter force like that. No? Uh, you give the, uh, you give a command from your keyboard to do left turn. The operating system will calculate your command and give the application the command that you want. And the application will do the command that you are given to it and return it to the operating system and will be going to display on your mo monitor. So that's how the operating system goes. Ngayon, kung mahina si operating system, mababa yung kanyang memory, mabagal Guma, dumating yung command. Ganun po yun. No? Kaya kung mababa ang inyong operating system, for example na lang, no? uh, yung application mo ay AutoCAD. You give a command to your operating system. The operating system is too slow to follow the resolution of your AutoCAD application. So, mangyari, pag dinisplay niya yon dahil mabagal siya, yung pinaki ang lalabas sa screen yun is either hindi, 
naghahang, nagka-crash yung system kasi hindi kaya ni operating system ang bilis na kayang ibigay ng application. So, ganun po yan. And this printer, no, before I for forgot, no, when you command the computer to print out a <coughs> print out a file, no, so the operating system just give instruction to the printer uh, after calculating the file and give its final output. So, this is the operating system. So, operating system software provides various levels of interaction called interference. It is a function between the computer and the user. For example, your keyboard, you give your command or your typing command by means of your keyboard. So, it has a interference between me and the computer using my computer. Another, yung katod ko, no, as a musician, no, meron ako mga music interference. For example, I use my uh, mixer. No? I connect my mixer to my uh, laptop or computer. Uh, if I record my instruments, no, for example, I play my keyboard, the command that I, the music that comes out to my keyboard goes to the mixer. So there's, there's the first interference. The second interference is the, the mixing of the sound by means of the mixer going to the computer. And returning back, babalik naman yung, com yung na calculate na computer going back to the mixer and mixer going out to the speakers para marinig natin yung output. So, uh, that's is means that's how it explains what is called interference. No, uh, that is the use of the interference, as well as between the computer and the application software. An example of OS or also that as operating system are the Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows Seven, Eight, Nine, Ten. No? So those are the operating system used uh, by the computer uh, to run uh, different kind of application software. For example, no, geto na lang. Halimbawa, ang application software mo ay Windows 7. Pero ang dinownload mong application is Adobe 2000. CC pa yun, 2000 CC. So, pag-install mo doon sa computer, no, automatically mag, magkakaroon ng alert yung computer mo. Sasabihin niya, the software is not applicable to your operating system. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Si operating system, ah, si AutoCAD, Siya po ay under 64-bit. While your computer is a Windows 7 application, a Windows 7 operating system, cannot handle a very uh, big uh, kind of software like AutoCAD. So, ibig sabihin, kung ang gamit mong computer ay Windows 7, tapos 32-bit siya, hindi siya gagana sa computer mo. So, useless, no? Sayang yung application. So, that's how uh, application is connected to a operating system. Uh, they must be compatible to each. So, what are application software can be used? Uh, Siyempre, first is the AutoCAD. Though. Why AutoCAD uh, 2014? Why don't we use the 2019 or 2020? Uh, it is because, guys, no, some of you may be using a Windows 7 uh, model or OS ng computer. So, at least, itong 2040 will run into your system. Kahit, uh, kahit na, alam natin na um, um, outdated na ang 2014, 
eh, yun lang yung pwedeng mag sa mga computer natin. Ibig sabihin, eh, DepEd is just uh, thinking on out of the box, no? Uh, because we want to be on the trend, no? Kaso nga lang, uh, yun yung the most practical way, no? Is to, eh, baka kasi mas marami talaga yung gumagamit, gumagamit pa rin ng Windows 7, no? At least, uh, Uh, 2014 can run into this uh, ano, OS. Next one is the Microsoft Office. The Microsoft Office is uh, uh, it depends on the what kind of OS also. No? Uh, Katulad ng 2013. So, meron tong Windows, ah, sorry, meron tong Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc., uh, etc. Et And this one is Apache. This is a paint, painting software, no? Uh, application software are also called programs, no? Has a specific use or task to perform such as AutoCAD for architectural drawing and layouts. Lotus 1, 2, 3 for business and marketing. Adobe Photoshop naman ginagamit for image processing, video, audio, uh, animation. So, those are application. Uh, sorry, tama. This, those are application software. O, pwede rin natin tawagin, those are also known as programs. Ay, na-apply, nilalagay natin. Pero, nakadepende pa rin, tandaan nyo, ha? nakadepende pa rin sa OS ang functionality ng isang program. Pag hindi kaya ng OS ang program na nilalagay nyo sa kanya, hindi siya mag-work. Magka-crash lang siya or either hindi siya mag-upload or magda-download sa... Okay, so we are in our la- end part of our lesson for today. Uh, let's have a recap. What is a hardware? So the hardware is the physical body of the computer. Uh, for example, the TV monitor, the keyboard, the mouse, uh, the peripherals are yung mga panagdag lang, yung like the printer, uh, yung camera, so uh, those are the peripheral hardwares. Uh, softwares, it, it, we have two types of softwares. No? It is uh, the OS, that is the operating system, and the application software or also known as the programs. Uh, what are the different kinds of hardware that we discussed today? So, this, uh, na-discuss natin yung about monitors, printer, mouse, keyboard. Uh, ano pa ba? Uh, the, ano, no? Yung chassis. O, o yung uh, CPU. Yeah. So, those are hardwares. And, uh, yes, the, give some example of OS. So, remember, There are many kind of uh, OS out there like the Windows XP, uh, Windows uh, Windows 10, 8, 7, okay, and meron tayong Linux, uh, MacOS, or Mac OS, no, Mac OS. Some example of application software, no, siyempre number one dyan yung AutoCAD, yun yung gagamitin natin. We have also Adobe. Uh, Adobe software has a many function and have different. Ano, no? It depends on what uh, purpose you are need. Uh, what you what purpose you need uh, this program? For example, if you, for uh, pictures like Photoshop, uh, video like uh, Premiere, uh, vid- uh, video. Ah, uh, sorry, sound editing is like uh, we can use. Although Adobe Edition, no? so those are thing, uh, so programs that you use. Okay, so good job everyone for reaching up to the end of my lesson. So I hope you, every one of you, had learned something in this topic, no, about our about software and hardware. So now let us have a written activity. So guys, here is your. Uh, task 2 of our lesson for today. It is under a Google form, so I will uh, print this link in, in, 
at your hmm, sa ko pa pa yung ilagay sige so na lang sa uh, Facebook no sa Facebook GC natin ilagay ko na na doon itong link na to so you can open it and answer next is an activity after the quiz we have the activity what you're going to do here you just name what kind of hardware is here and tell what is the function so i give you a soft copy of this at your google classroom so this is the rubrics i want you to verify attempt to identify the picture but it's not the right answer identify the picture but is the wrong spelling Clearly identify the picture in the right spelling. So that is in the name of the panel, of the picture. Uh, and in the definition, attempt to give the function the hardware, but it's not the, it's not the right answer. Can tell the function of the hardware uh, clear terms. Some part of the answer are left as explained, but not expanded idea. While the, in three points, I give you three points. If you narrate the function of the hardware in clear terms to their readers, expanded their idea beyond simply answering the question. And this is the link source of your activity. So I will give you the link and post it to your GC, no, yung ODL GC natin, and uh, it will get you or dadahin ka nito tuon sa Google Classroom natin. 